what to see, what to stream, and what to skip. It's Movie Reviews with Ryan J. We are back with the nationally syndicated and one year older but better looking entertainment critic Ryan J. <laughs> Good yeah. to see you. Wow. Happy belated birthday. <laughs> yeah, thanks. I'll throw that in there. He's aging right in front of our very eyes. Thanks. And aging well, my well, friend. He does. You look fantastic. Thanks, as do you. Yeah. Thank you. All right. So and you're wearing a red pin, I noticed, mm. for Go Red for Women. Yes, Loving yes. It. Like to honor with a little bit of Ruby Slipper there. Uh -huh. I love that. Thanks. Well, let's break down some movies, shall we? We shall. Okay. How about this first one, which is Knock at the Cabin, rated R in theaters. Wait, is this the M. Night Shyamalan one? Yes. I, I love this I movie. I bet you would. I love him. I love his brand. He's got his very own unique style of filmmaking. And I think this is one of his best movies. It's probably my favorite since Signs, maybe even better than Signs. Ooh. And what I like about it is it has a little bit of dash of horror, like horror elements, but it's not a horror film at all. Really? You could totally watch this. It's really a mystery thriller that is uh, a spiritual dilemma. But there's a, it, it, there's little kids, I think little kids are scary in scary movies. I agree. Well, not this little girl. This little so girl's who's in scary. it? Well, we have Jonathan Groff and Ben Aldridge there um, with their, uh, they play a couple with their adopted daughter and they basically are on this vacation in the secluded cabin when a uh, knock comes at the door and these four strangers come and, yeah. and present with them a spiritual dilemma that they have to deal with. And it is so, suspenseful and what I love about first of all I love Jonathan Groff he's like you know my Hollywood husband okay oh and then um, Ben Aldridge is fantastic too and I I love the pair of them their chemistry was amazing there's a lot of flashbacks in the film that show you like about their relationship and and uh, that sort of thing and was it a book it was a book now here's the thing I didn't read the book but I read up on the book and this is so drastically different from the book okay. I think that people who read the book if they're expecting to see just that they'll be very disappointed in this movie I mean major major changes some of the biggest changes that could conceivable in adaptation but I was very I didn't know that when this movie ended I knew there was a book but I didn't know it was so changed and I like the changes in the sense that it gives you a little bit more what American audiences want from a movie I'm going to tell you, because I saw the trailer in between while I was watching something. I won't give anything away because I know you don't like spoiler alerts mm -hmm. on anything more than what you've said. But I actually really did want to see it. So I'm actually happy that you're telling me it's not Oh, you not can handle horror. it. There's nothing scary about this. I mean, it's not for children. It's a radar yeah. film. But for those people who like might not like horror, but you like thrillers, mm -hmm. you can handle this. There's okay. nothing in this that will scare you. So see it. It is fantastic. The style, the it cinematography, the camera movement, all the internal. And it also has Rupert Grint, who is Ron Weasley in the Harry Potter movies in it, who <laughs> oh. also did the M. Night Shyamalan series Servant, which is on Apple TV+. Plus. So he, they're sort of like a, a team right now. Awesome. Okay, yeah. I can't wait to see what you're gonna say about 80 for Brady. Um, this is PG-13 in theaters because my husband's been trying to school you on football. He has, and that has been a lot more fun than the football in this movie. Now let me say first, cause that's because we have cocktails. Maybe, maybe yeah, I don't drink while I'm while I'm screening movies yeah. um, because we all know what those reviews would be like. <laughs> what did I just say? Uh, 80 for Brady, you know, it's got these iconic stars in it, but um, it's produced by football player Tom Brady. It's based on a true story. And oh. it's basically Sex in the City meets the Golden Girls, but it's a football, oh. football movie for old chicks. <laughs> I love that. Wait, so does yeah. that mean it's funny? Oh, it's a, a major comedy, yes. Oh, oh. did you laugh? I laughed, but there's a lot of age, you know, because it's it's Lily Tomlin, Jane Fonda, yeah. Sally Field, Rita Moreno. They're phenomenal. Their characters are very clearly defined, and they do great work, but although they're excellent in it. The screenplay is cheesy. It's uh, very predictable. And some of the editing was annoying. Like there is like, we got to get a reaction shot and a close up of each of them. And that lengthens the film. Mm. And then why I like watching football with Ross is because he actually makes the game fun for me. <laughs> I feel this like the football not... scenes in this movie were not good. It was too long and boring. And so I, yeah. Is it a skip it? It's a stream it. Okay. Oh, stream, stream it. it. Okay. Here's what I wanted to say mm -hmm. is I think those women, and I've seen it with other movies. I can't think of an iconic. example right now. Mm -hmm. They're iconic, but they want to work together. Of course. So yeah. I think they're like, yeah. let's do a movie together. Right. You well, know? exactly. Well, Lily and Jane have been doing several seasons of that, their show together. Yes. And then they also, um, you know, they did uh, nine to five. Mm -hmm. And this is One a great, dingy. right, no, right. Lily it's such talking. a great excuse yeah. for them to get together and work together. And they are fantastic. But you know how like most sports movies, when I don't like sports, but I like sports movies because you care about the game you get invested yes. the rest of it and then it's rousing the the football moment which is arguably the last third of the film 
I didn't know what was going on or care about the game at all because I wasn't invested in the game as much as I was those characters. For that reason. Well, that's reason. a good thing. Yes. Yeah. I'll, I'll, yeah, okay. All right, the last one because we're running out of time. Spoiler alert, this is on Peacock. This is also a true story uh, based on the novel that is written by entertainment journalist Michael Osiello, who worked at TV Guide, he worked at Entertainment Weekly, and he created TV Line. Okay, oh. who's in this? Well, he is played by Jim Parsons, mm -hmm. multi-award winning, yep. And then his uh, his boyfriend in this film is Ben Aldridge, who is also in Knock at the Cabin. Oh, yeah. And Ben Aldridge's mother oh. is Sally Field, who's also in 80 for Brady. So, oh. so kind of, he's having a day. He's, yeah, they're all, yeah, it's all kind of connected this week. And I love it. It's spoiler alert. But his book was spoiler alert, the hero dies, because in this, his husband does pass away from cancer. And you know that going in, that's right away. And then it, okay. and it backtracks and shows it's a major tear jerker very sad but a very real depiction of a great loving unconditional uh relationship and family here so is it drama or comedy it's a dramedy okay. but a major major tear jerker some people like that stream yeah. it it's stream on peacock it. it's okay. streaming today i like on peacock. Tear yeah okay. i loved it it's very relatable awesome job ryan you Thanks. can follow him on social media at ryan j reviews for his full entertainment reviews you got to check out his website and that is ryanjreviews.com